Hello seniors, I am Ms. Nunez, and today I want to share with you important information regarding senior year. I know many of you already know your counselor, but I will want to remind you of our counseling team. We have Ms. Echeverria working with students whose part of the alphabet is A through E, myself working with students whose part of the alphabet is F through O, and Dr. Sandoval subbing for Ms. Sandoval, uh, and she's working with students whose part of the alphabet is P through C. We also have our scholarship coordinator, Ms. Nicole Morasca, and our migrant counselor, Ms. Silvia Alba, and our lead college facilitator, Ms. Hernandez, who's here to support all students who are applying to colleges. All of us are here to support you. So please let us know how we can encourage you, support you in this process as you apply to colleges. We recognize that distance learning has posed new challenges. We recognize that the lack of structure and being at home exposes you, the student, to more distractions, which make it harder to focus. We know your routines have been disrupted, and as such, students are not getting enough sleep. We want you to know we are in this together. This quote, inspired by Charles Swindle, reminds us of the power of our attitude. He states, I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. We want you to know there is no abnormal reaction to the pandemic, and it's natural for all of us to be experiencing a hard time. None of us are immune to the stress associated with this pandemic, we want to remind you of your inner strength and resilience to overcome any challenge. Just remember how you've overcome other challenges in the past, and that will give you a good insight as to what you need to do to practice that self-care so that you can manage all of these emotions that are coming up with this pandemic. Don't worry about regressing in school or not being prepared for the future. Remember, all students across the world are experiencing this pandemic. Every student is in this boat and they will all be okay, you included. So when we return to school, we will meet you where you're at. Colleges and universities recognize that this has been a challenge and they too will meet you where you're at. I wanna remind you that the only constant in life is change. George Curious, an educator, reminds us that change will come our way. We can go through it or we can grow through it. We grow when we seek out solutions rather than let obstacles hinder us. During this pandemic, we want you to prioritize your overall wellness, your health, and make sure that you're sleeping eight hours, make sure that you're getting exercise, that you're taking some breaks in between your classes. And the most important thing, as you see in this image, is your sleep. Please protect your sleep, create those healthy boundaries to ensure that you're staying healthy physically and mentally. If you're one of your friends is experiencing a difficult time adjusting to virtual learning and or is feeling sad or anxious, please let us know. We have a wild care team connecting students to services which include health education, mental health counseling, grief support, and prevention services. Ms. Martinez is our new socio-emotional counselor and is here to guide you in achieving wellness. Prior to the COVID-19 quarantine, students and parents were able to easily connect with faculty by coming into the office. Unfortunately, that is not possible now, but we have created this virtual office where you can access a lot of the information that you used to obtain when you would come into the office. And you can access this by going into our Watson High School website, you click on counseling, and it's the first tab which says virtual office. We are excited that high school graduation is only six months away. To ensure you do not jeopardize your graduation, you need to understand the following. Class attendance is mandatory, and it is important to keep up with deadlines. Important information is shared with students via email and our Google Class of 2021. Please check out your PVUSD email and Google Class regularly. Furthermore, we want to empower you to review your transcript and to make sure that all of your credits are reflected on your transcript. Look at your transcript and make sure that if you took a class during credit recovery, 
that it shows on your transcript. Remember, you must pass all your classes with C grades or better in order to be accepted into a university. And we want you to feel proud of yourself as you finish strong this semester. We also want to remind you that for any student that is currently enrolled in credit recovery, we want to remind you of the deadline, which is December 4th. If you're not meeting credit recovery benchmarks, we want you to know that we have registered you to complete the course in the winter. And you will have the winter to complete the current class that you're enrolled in. So by now, all of you should have received an email from Extended Learning letting you know that we have registered you for the winter session, which will be December 22nd through January 15. And as you complete credit recovery, we want to empower you to monitor the accuracy of your transcript. If you completed a course, it needs to be marked with an R. So if you look at this image, you will see that a student took pre-calculus, received a D, and then repeated the course. And next to it in the yellow circle, you see the R. So this means that this class has been repeated and the new grade is now replacing the old grade. Please know that your post-secondary education and lifelong learning are necessary for long-term career success. Avoid senioritis um, and remember that your GPA matters and can affect your college acceptance and financial aid eligibility. As college, math and English placement is based on your transcript. And also um, remember that your transcript is a big part of your identity. So we want to encourage you to finish strong. At this moment, you might think, you know, it's only my transcript, but you'd be surprised how many students who are now adults come back to Watsonville High School requesting their transcript, either because now they've changed their profession or they're seeking to become a police officer or work for the FBI. It's just really important that you remember that your transcript matters and it's part of your identity. So I want you to feel proud to show your transcript. And even if you at one point got a D, it's okay, or an F, it's okay, you replace it. And that's how you enrolled in the after school credit recovery program. We also recognize that the virtual learning makes it harder for you to understand the material that's presented to you by your teachers. For these reasons, we want you to access tutoring and your teacher office hours. There's a correlation between accessing teacher office hours and um, getting tutoring when we're struggling. So if you're struggling with any of the subjects, you can schedule a tutor um, tutoring session with an EAUP tutor, and they are available um, by going onto the EAUP website, which is also available on our Watsonville High School website. You click on counseling, then you click on college and career, and you will see the schedule of tutoring times, which are Tuesday through Friday. Um, and for office hours, those are available Tuesday through Friday from 1 45 to 3 p.m. And let's not forget about important deadlines. Remember to submit your CSU and UC college applications, as well as to apply for the EOP program by November 30th. And remember to contact your counselor if you need to enroll in credit recovery, and that needs to be done as soon as possible. Please send us an email. December 3rd, we're going to be having a Cabrillo College Running Start application at 2 p.m. We hope that you can join us. More information will be available via our Google Class of 2021. And we have until March 2nd to submit the FAFSA or DREAM application. Don't wait until then. Please submit your FAFSA and um, any scholarships requests as soon as possible. But if you're applying for the FAFSA or the DREAM Act, we are recommending that you do this by December 4th. And as we're talking about, you know, deadlines and very important information that needs to be submitted on your end, we want to remind all of you that applying to FAFSA or the DREAM application is important and all students, regardless of family income, should apply. Um, that means that whether your parents make a lot of money or, um, you know, or they don't, it's important that all of you submit the FAFSA 
or the DREAM application. And the reason for this is because there are programs like the Cabrillo uh, California Promise Grant that is available for students for two years of free tuition when you submit your FAFSA application. Remember that in order to qualify for grants, scholarships, loans, or the Cabrillo uh, California Promise, you need to submit your FAFSA or DREAM application. So please be mindful of that. And again, we recommend that every student submits a FAFSA or DREAM application in order to be considered for this financial aid. So you may ask, what is the difference between FAFSA and DREAM application? Well, the difference is that they're both financial aid programs and the FAFSA is for US citizens and the DREAM application is for undocumented and non-resident students who qualify under Assembly Bill 540. Scholarships are free money and Ms. Moraska continuously updates the scholarship list on Naviance. To access scholarships, students will need to log on to Naviance and click on the college's scholarship and money tab to access the scholarship list. Additionally, we want to encourage students and parents to ask their work, um, employment, if they have any scholarships available. I know that when I was in graduate school, my dad, um, works in agriculture. And so I asked my dad if, if the company gave any scholarships and they did, they gave me a $1,000 scholarship as a graduate student. And that just happened because of their generosity, but also because I asked. So um, please make sure that you ask your employer if they have any scholarships available. Furthermore, we want to remind you that the two weeks after you submit your FAFSA or DREAM application, you will need to create an account with Web Grants. Once a student decides that school, well, the school that they will be attending, it's very important to confirm that that school shows up on your Web Grants portal. And then, you know, senior year, now we're in, in this last week and a half um, that you have to submit your college applications. As you are thinking about your post-secondary options, we want to encourage you to sit with your parent or guardian and determine what institution is the best choice for you. Some factors to take into consideration are the location, the cost, and the type of institution, whether it's a public or a private university or a community college. No matter the post-secondary um, institution that you decide to attend, we want you to feel supported in applying and to really look at the differences between each one. Remember to submit all of your applications as we recommend by November 30th, just to ensure that you don't, the system doesn't crash and that you are not with added stress. And as you take into consideration the type of institution in terms of cost, location, and whether it's a private or public, we want to remind you that families can save up to $50,000 by attending a community college right after high school. I know that a gentle concern that a lot of families express as well, you know, I don't want to be at the community college for more than two years. And I know a lot of people have been there for a longer time. And at the community college level, once you start, you can develop a comprehensive educational plan by meeting with your counselor and really mapping out the courses that you will be taking while you're there. That is one way to ensure that you know what classes you need to take to only be at the community college for two years. Locally, we have four different institutions. We have Cabrillo, MPC, Hartnell, and Gavilan College. Each institution has different programs. At Cabrillo, we have the Culinary Arts and the Nursing Program. At Harnell, a very popular program is the Auto Mechanics, the Welding and Nursing, as well as EMT. At Gavilan, a popular program that they have is Cosmetology, Nursing, and at MPC, they have the Fire Academy and the Nursing Program. These are just a few examples of popular programs that each institution has. But because Watsonville is within the local district of Cabrillo College. We want to let you know that we have the Cabrillo Promise Grant. This is available to students within the local district area. Watsonville High is within the local district area. And so what you would be getting is college free tuition for up to two years for first time full time students. This is available to all the students, no matter what the family income. If your parents make a lot of money, you can get 
this Cabrillo, uh, California Promise Grant by simply submitting the application, making sure that you submit your FAFSA or DREAM application, and that um, you submit the Cabrillo Promise Grant application. That's going to be usually available in the month of May, and it's an excellent opportunity for students, um, so please take advantage of this. And remember that as you are applying to universities, for each university that you apply to, you will need to create a dashboard or a portal for that school as well as set up your email account. Each university will require this of you and this is the way that communication is shared with you so that you don't fall into the I didn't know no one ever told me. So please be mindful that in the month of December through January you will need to create your student portal between January and February, you will need to check your student portal and complete your to-do list and submit any missing um, documents or in submit information that is requested of you. And then in the month of February and March, you will receive an admission decision from the universities that you apply to. So this is at the time when you will find out whether you've been admitted, uh, denied, or put on the waiting list. Please note um, that if you do miss a deadline, this can put um, your admissions at risk. So don't miss any deadlines. And then as we know that we've shared a lot of information today, we, we don't want you to feel alone. We are here to support you. And so uh, the counseling team is offering express counseling Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays during advisory via our Google class of 2021. We are also offering office hours, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. And that Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving, the counseling team, senior counseling team is making themselves available to offer you college assistance as well from 9 to 12 p.m. So these are all times that we're here to help you with your college applications, with your financial aid applications, and um, any of these services you can access using our senior Google Class link of 2021. Lastly, we have some announcements. If you have not yet ordered your cap and gown, you can still do so by logging on to www.nrpnorcal.com. Additionally, we want to remind you that senior portrait retakes are available amid January. And so if you are interested in this, you will have to submit the survey that's available in our Google class of 2021 to let them know that you're interested. And remember that your government teachers assigned to you your profile survey. So please make sure that you complete that as soon as possible and um, connect with us if you have any questions. We are so excited that graduation is only six months away. Please hold on to that hope. We know that this is hard, but we also know that you can do it. We know this is hard, but we know that you can do it. Hold on to that hope and continue to work hard. If you have any questions based on the information that I've shared with you today, please feel free to send me or your counselors an email. Thank you and have a great day.